falling over. I mean, constant, that's what gait is, it's nothing more than uh, a, a, an attempt at trying to stay upright without falling over, you know, using muscular strategies. Wow, I just almost perfectly fixed that. Everybody, he, the foot is a tripod, basically. If you look at it, it's just like this. I have got a, fifth, first, a first metatarsal head. That's this one. I've got a fifth metatarsal head. Can't see it? Okay. A fifth metatarsal head right here, and I've got a heel. Those are three points. Here's my three points, okay? Can everybody stand up and squeeze your glutes so that you're in a neutral pelvis position and lift your toes up and see if you can feel the two four-foot tripod points? And as soon as you do, sit down. If you can't, you've got a foot-type problem. You've either got a four-foot varus or a four-foot valgus. We go over that on one of our DVDs really nicely with a model so you can understand it. But, and he's got a four foot varus. I know he does, so that's why he's wobbling left and right. I know his foot intimately. He's got a four foot varus and a collapsed arch. So his tripod is messed up. You need to be able to get to this tripod. There's an arch, transverse arch here, and there's a longitudinal arch. And so these ones really don't touch the ground all the time, just these two points. So if you're going into a squat, okay, and you don't have the first tripod down, Worse yet, if you're Sean, okay, there's, there's your collapsed foot, okay? This is a four foot varus foot. This foot cannot obtain a arch position. Don't put your shoes on just yet because I'm going to have you do, do a couple other things because this is going to help you apply this to your clients. You need to be able to get your foot to a tripod position. And then what happens is, so your foot hits the ground at the heel, you hit laterally, you hit medially, your forefoot is anchored and now you progress forward. That is your outside, inside walk forward. If you do not progress off this tripod appropriately with a little bit more off of here, you really come laterally, outside, inside, and then you start to come off the big toe. It's the big toe for a reason. It's gonna take the most force. If this tripod is not symmetrical in a squat, which way is your knee going? Right, Zach? Your knee is driving inwards because your foot can't get to that tripod position. I mean, here's a great example. Everybody stand up. Stand on that foot, raise your, all of your toes up, and then tip to the outside of your foot so your big toe, big knuckle isn't hitting, and now go into a squat and keep going until that big knuckle hits. And your knee is gonna go inside and it's gonna internally rotate through your hip, and you're gonna feel real wobbly. Okay, go ahead and sit down. So the tripod must be stable if you're gonna get into a squat properly or a lunge. Can you imagine getting into a lunge position and only being on two parts of this thing? This is Sean's foot. It's right here, right? He goes into a lunge and he gets all wobbly. Why? Because if he puts the inside of that tripod down, he's going to fall on the inside. So what he does is he tries to stand on the outside and throws an orthotic underneath the inside there so that he can get that tripod back, right? Yes, sir. But what has driven this, what has driven that tripod to not work? Well, something that causes plantar flexion of that first ray, which is what gets that down, which is your big toe extensor. Okay, your extensor hallucis longus and brevis. And when they're active and they lift up, when that extends up, that drives this down and drives that medial tripod down. So here's a perfect little screen for your clients. And if you guys can see this, you don't need to stand up and do it, but I urge you as one of the screens for your clients, have them stand, raise their toes up. Can you feel the tripod, okay? Whether they can or can't, just itemize that in your head. Put the foot back down, knees are bent. Mrs. Jones, your knees must not move, okay? I want you to pick the whole forefoot of your right side up. Keep your heel down. And I want you to do that on the left. You're gonna find a lot of clients who are like, I can't get the left side up, or you're gonna see them start to do this. Because they don't have the anterior compartment ability to do that, and then they tighten up the calf, okay? Oh, I can't get that up because my calf is tight. No, you can't get that up because you can't get it up, okay? So you need to be able to lift that with strength. Stretching the calf will get them more range, but that buys you 10 minutes or 20 minutes. It doesn't buy them a solution. Okay, so this is a great screen. Do you have enough ankle rocker? And you'll find clients can only get to here to pick it up because down here requires more strength. Okay, you've pushed that ankle into further rocker. Some